The new Aita brand has completely unveiled the flagship crossover M9. He is a joint development of Huawei and Series Group. Since the model was developed in collaboration with Huawei, it stands out with its technologies. These are pixel headlights that can work as a projector, a 2 kilowatt audio system with 25 speakers, and a 7 display setup in the cabin, including augmented reality projection. At the same time, the M9 is faster than the Maybach GLS and BMW X7. But that's not all the features of the flagship off-road vehicle Aita M9. In this video, I am going to spill all the details and juicy details about Huawei's brand new luxury SUV. It was created under the complete control of Huawei, encompassing the design, technological and electronic components of the product. The brand name Aita represents added intelligence to auto, which can be interpreted as bringing intelligence to the car. But there's also a Chinese version of the name, Wengi. The Chinese IT giant is aiming to become a major player in the global automotive industry, and Aita is just one of its projects in this field. Corsair M9 competes, surpasses Mercedes Maybach GLS, BMW X7 in China, with unique body dimensions exceeds expectations. The overall length of the M9 is 5,230mm width, 1,999mm height, 1,800mm, and the wheelbase size is 3,110mm. 3 cm longer than Maybach GLS. Luggage volume ranges 206 to 716 L, 6 to 716 L. Standard equipment includes a fully independent adaptive air suspension with height adjustable feature. Front on double transverse levers, rear multi-lever. The driver can not only adjust the clearance but also choose the stiffness of the damping system. Stock wheels on 20 or 22 inch rims. Standard ground clearance is 175 mm on front subframe with distance to battery of 186 mm. Thanks to the pneumatic suspension, you can raise the ground clearance by 80 mme. A LiDAR with 192 lasers collects data to control electronically controlled shock absorbers based on road conditions and ensure optimal performance. Together with other sensors, all 27 of them, he's also responsible for the operation of Huawei DS 2.0 autonomous driving system. The Aito M9 is nearly impervious to corrosion due to the fact that the body is composed of 80% aluminum. Aluminum is also widely used in suspension systems. At the same time, the rigidity of the power structure is well developed. Here they use modern technologies for large-scale casting. Also, there was a place found for alloy steel, which in terms of strength is similar to the one used on nuclear submarines. It is used in door amplifiers, central and front pillars, so that the body is practically impossible to deform. The battery is improved. Each cell is enclosed in a five-layer shell, and there is a safety device that shuts down the high-voltage system in case of an accident. The beauty is equipped with nine airbags, as well as mechanical door handles in case the electronic locks fail. In the video presentation of the crossover, they showed how the M9 withstands the impact of an eight-ton truck, which literally pushes the crossover into the truck ahead. The M9 has smooth, streamlined shapes, recessed door handles, plenty of chrome and a two-tone body paint. The drag coefficient is 0.28 for the hybrid version and 0.26 for the electric variant, indicating their respective aerodynamic efficiency. The headlights got an unusually large and round shape. They can dynamically change the shape of the light beam, shade an object up to 100 meters away, illuminate the lane, turns, roadside, and even act as a projector with the ability to display photos or videos with an image size of up to 2.5 meters wide. You can have movie screenings at a picnic and save on going to the theater. The taillights also possess individual pixels that are capable of displaying various information and demonstrating messages to other drivers on the road. The six-seater salon is equipped with leather upholstered individual seats, wooden veneer inserts, contour lighting with 16 million shades, a panoramic roof, and has 41 compartments for small items. The first two rows of seats are equipped with 14-way power adjustments, heated, ventilated, and with a massage function. Three screens on front panel, 12.3-inch instrument panel, 15.6-inch central multimedia screen, and 16-inch entertainment screen for front passenger. The instrument panel is enhanced with a 75-inch projection, with augmented reality on the windshield. 
An additional four 10-inch tablets have been installed on the backs of the seats in the first and second rows. Also, a 32-inch projection panel drops down from the ceiling. The projector itself is mounted on the ceiling at the back of the salon. The sound is provided by a 2,080-watt audio system, which has 25 speakers and a noise cancellation system. The crossover electronics can dynamically change the sound field and, for example, isolate the driver from a phone conversation in the second row. The voice system has the ability to recognize up to six voices and is capable of self-learning. The whole thing is run by the signature operating system from Huawei, Harmony OS 4. By the way, the car now has a flight mode. When it is activated, all data transmission is blocked, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and the anti-theft system are turned off. This M9 is reported to possess two power units, the hybrid and fully electric plug-in. The traction battery capacity is either 42 or 52 kWh. The range on a single charge without using the internal combustion engine is 225 to 275 kilometers, according to the CLTC cycle. The Aita M9 electric bikes have different motors, 217 horsepower on the front axle and 313 horsepower on the rear. In total, 530 horsepower and 673 newton meters of torque. It takes 4.3 seconds to accelerate to 100. A full charge of the traction battery with a capacity of 97.7 kW should be enough for 630 km according to the CLTC cycle. Max speed is still 200 km per H. Cost of basic version of AYM9 starts at 470,000 yuan, around $66,000. And the most expensive version, AYM9 EV Ultra, will cost $79,800. Hey guys, what is your opinion on the new flagship released by Huawei? And do you think it will be able to compete with German crossovers? Share your opinion in the comments. Subscribe to stay up to date with the latest happenings in the auto industry.